Hello and welcome to a new devlog video. My name is Andy and last time we talked about the new pie menu and the draw bone shape operator and this time we are going to talk about animation. So um, I've added some changes to the cutout animation collection and um, that's what we are going to talk about in this video. So basically you have this animation collection list here which helps you to create and bundle animations in one place. So if I create one, give it a name, I have this collection and if I'm going to key something, it will automatically create um, the actions in the background and um, bundle them in this uh, collection name. So. Let's open the original file. So I have this run and idle animation and in that animation we have the action for the bones and the action for the sprites and that's it. So, But sometimes you want to have some more complex uh, animations. So let's say you have this idle animation and the run animation and you want to idle two times to animate the idle animation two times and then go over to the, to the run animation and that's where the NLA ed editor comes in handy and before it wasn't possible with this system here to use the NLA editor but now I've changed this so how does it work first of all we will head over to the NLA editor and you see the actions are displayed here and we want to Add this idle animation as an NLA strip. So just press this button here and this will let you insert a new strip at cursor location. You can add a custom um, frame here or just use the cursor. Repeat the strip let's say two times. We don't want to scale it and we want to use auto blending. So just press OK and you see we have created new strips. So we have created the armature strip and the foot and upper body strip which will handle the animation for that. So now we have this animation here. It jumps automatically in the NLA mode here and we want to add now at the end of this uh, animation the run animation. So just press the button for the run animation, repeat it five times and press OK. So that's it. Now we have added the idle strip and the run strip and if you play back the animation, it will play back two times and then blend over to the run animation. So this pr works pretty easy. Um, if you want to edit uh, the action again, we just can head over to the action mode. This will be muted and we can edit the action here as it was before. So. The timelines are set automatically, so if we have this animation, it is 18 frames long and this one is 59 frames long. If we go to the NLA mode, the time is set to, uh, to, to these values here. So um, that's it. So this way we have just the action. Um, if we press NLA, it will go, go over to the NLA mode and play back all the strips here. We have this wrap animation playback, so this is just a small checkbox. Um, it's pretty simple, so you can play back the animation with Alt A and then it will play back. But you can also use the cursor keys. Currently, if you um, use the cursor keys, it won't loop automatically. And that's what the, this checkbox is for. So just press it and it will always jump automatically back to the first frame. Okay, and finally I want to talk about um, keyframing. So keyframing, um, let's create a new action. And this will be the graph editor again. Can be done here for the sprites. Or you can press the F key and just add, go to the keyframe here. So let's say you want to frame the sprite. Just select it and this sprite gets keyed automatically. 
um, we can select a few sprites. Press F and the, all, all the keyframes will be set. We can delete them from here. And delete and they are gone. This also works for bones now. So if we select a bone or a few bones, we can go to the add keyframes, location, rotation, scale, and you see all uh, keyframes are set automatically. We can delete them from here and they are gone. Well, also it's very cool. So let's say we, we have a few keyframes here and we want to delete some, but not all. So we just can press delete keyframes and say only location. And you see that only the location keyframes are deleted now. So this is also a, um, fine, a new addition. And um, to make it straightforward, I've added it for the key uh, for the sprites and also for the bones. So you can use this menu here to, for, to, to key all the properties. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and as always, if you like that, that, that add-on, feel free to download it from my GitHub page. And if you want to support me, you can also donate and head over to my GitHub page. There's a donate button and share it with other people. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.